It should already be on too. Can you hear me? You hear? Yeah, Can you hear me now? Yeah. I was talking low, that's why. I don't know, but no, no, that's not gonna pick up. Can you hear the? You can't hear the your thing. No, I hear it. Why you can't? Why it's bothering you? No, your yours is all through your here. You want some earplugs? Yeah. Let me see if I got some in my bag. My bag, yeah. Hold on. Echo. Volume. Hold on. Uh, Testing. Give me your uh, headset. I hear it yeah, cause I, it should have been on. Are you? I said it should have been on. Okay. Mud on me. Okay, I'm getting ready. Start. I ain't gonna worry about that. <laughs> All right, let's go. You can go ahead and start. Wash my damn hands. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to what I'm hoping is a edutaining episode of Create Simple Meals. Today we are doing the last episode of uh, our low carb month. We're going to do a jerk chicken uh, pasta alfredo. Real simple. This uh, meal is simply some heavy cream, some jerk seasoning, sour cream, butter, uh, some Parmesan cheese, and some chicken. That's pretty much it. It's going to be a real quick uh, meal I'm hoping. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, chicken in there. Um, I've already uh, seasoned up some, some, what's this, some chicken with some jerk seasoning and some olive oil, nothing uh, fancy. Let me tell you something about this jerk, this jerk seasoning. So I use Walker Woods jerk seasoning, and it's a, it's a funny story that me and some of my old coworkers and friends know about. We had this... Uh, lady we used to work with and she tried to pass off this jerk season as her own so my homegirl fiance walks in after she sat there and then laid the whole scene out like she done made all this jerk season from scratch <laughs> he walks in tastes the jerk chicken and his immediate statement was wait a minute this is walker woods so on the recipe use whatever jerk season you want but i highly 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 recommend walker woods Two reasons. One, Walker Woods is a very, very good jerk season. Um, I don't know where all you can find it at, but I found it uh, at Food for Less. And there's a couple other places, Cost Plus World Market. They have it as well. Let me turn this down a little bit. Um, they have it as well. The other reason is because I used to stay in Walker Woods dorm number 304 at Alabama A&M. All right, so let's get this party started. We're going to go ahead, take this chicken and start searing it off. get that out of my way and while this is cooking down I'm gonna go whoo <coughs> that jerk season kicks different uh, while this is cooking off I'm gonna go ahead and start doing these zucchini spirals for the uh, the pasta portion of this I always have trouble with locking these things down let's hopefully it don't give me too much trouble today all right so, uh, again, the Walker Wood season, I, I highly recommend. But if you, you know, know how to make your own jerk season don't or want to go ahead and make it, have your favorite brand, by all means, use it. This is just what I personally use. The funny thing, last night I was working on another uh, recipe. Um, we did this white chicken chili. And so my wife asked me, because she didn't feel like bringing out the Cuisinart, so she went on and uh, did the... Um, <laughs> Did it with a box grater. So she looks at me and she say, hey, did your mama always have a Cuisinart? And I'm like, nah. She said, well, who was who job was it to do the grading for Thanksgiving? And I'm like, it was some of all of us. I didn't have plenty of bloody knuckle uh, using a box grater. Now, thank God I got a food processor. I highly recommend if you don't have one, invest in one. They come in all price categories, but it makes things a whole lot easier. The other thing, so... I said I was gonna quit this low carb uh, diet, um, and I'm I'm probably gonna end up going 75% low carb going forward. And I'm gonna tell you why. I started this uh, process on January 2nd, 
And uh, since then, I have lost, and it should be a graph up there, uh, I've, I've lost about 16 pounds since January 2nd. So that, that uh, chart that should be on the screen now is actually from uh, this morning when I weighed myself. So I started off at roughly 270, and this morning I was like 254. So I think I'm going to go ahead and incorporate this low-carb lifestyle. Um, not 100% because I'm just not going to do that, but I think I'm going to try to stick to 70%, 75% of my meals being low-carb. And I'm also, uh-oh, that's going to be crazy when it turns. And also, I'm going to try to restrict my alcohol intake to... When I'm doing this show, which next Tuesday I'm back to my drinking, and then on the weekends, um, because the only thing I changed in my in my diet was cutting out the carbs and the alcohol. I actually haven't even been going to the gym like I normally do. I don't went to the gym twice a month, so to see that type of weight loss um, in such a short time gives me some hope. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep this going. Um, also, this show is. Produced and brought to you in part by the self-employed tax company and also Seth Lodge Planners. Self-employed tax company, uh, he's also my personal tax professional. He has a unique uh, company in that he can actually do your uh, taxes via email, via go to his office, Skype. So he, he really built it from the ground up from you. Um, I highly recommend using the self-employed tax company because the brother is good. And also by Seth Lodge Planning for all your group travel needs, um, fraternal organizations, your church, class reunions, please hit up Seth Lodge uh, Planning. We'll do our best to do your right. This recipe, again, for a jerk chicken uh, uh, pasta alfredo, pasta being zucchini noodles, is real simple. We have chicken, obviously, jerk seasoning, some heavy cream, Parmesan, salt and pepper, and some zucchini noodles. I uh, last night I seasoned up the uh, chicken with some salt, pepper, and the jerk seasoning, and that's what we're seeing off right now. As you saw doing the zucchini noodles, don't take long. I think I got this thing on Amazon for like I don't want to lie, but I want to say maybe like uh, seventeen, eighteen dollars. It was less than twenty five dollars for sure, but it works wonders. Get all them out. Get this out of my way, and we can go ahead and move these zucchini noodles out the way also i put a poll up on uh the uh facebook page i need to put it on some other thing i would like to know what are y'all cooking for uh for super bowl this is the big week for super bowl i would love to know what all y'all cooking i think for those of you that saw the episode a while back of the uh philly cheesesteak sloppy joes i think i'm gonna take that and make philly cheesesteak egg rolls and possibly philly cheesesteak um Nacho, but I'm, I'm definitely going to do the egg rolls because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that right now. So, again, we're going to cook this off. And also, please, Echo, Volume 4. I had to put me some music in the background because it's very hard for me to cook without music. It's hard for me to cook without drinking because I like to be relaxed. Cooking is my therapeutic uh, time. And so I found a way, I hope, that I can play my music in the background and not get picked up on the stream and Facebook and YouTube don't ding me for non-copyrighted material. But I got to have some music in the background. All right. And please let us know if there's any sound issues. Uh, the director, <laughs> Ann, is over here. She's monitoring the, the studio as well as monitoring the uh, Facebook. So if there's some audio issues, please let us know. We're trying something with a head mic now to hopefully cut down on background noise. Um, and you can he hear what I'm saying without all the wind and other devices. Thankfully, the summer is going to be here before we know it, or at least the spring. It'll warm up. There's wind a drop and production hopefully will increase a whole lot better. Now with this low carb, so I, uh, and I'm going to post this up, uh, Probably, actually, we did the video last night, but I need to do some editing on it. Had a couple of glitches on it, but the uh, low carb lifestyle. So this month we've done the chicken chili, which we'll post. We did the three cup chicken with the uh, cauliflower rice. Tonight we're doing this pasta alfredo. And as I was sitting there, and I, I was marveling in my weight loss. Um, 
which actually, to be honest, that wasn't the intent of me going uh, low carb. It was just more or less just detoxing my body. And that was a, a nice side effect. But what I've determined or I've, I discovered is that low carb does not have to be uh, difficult. You know, you, we, we make it difficult, but it doesn't have to be difficult. You just got to just change that mindset. So what I'm going to do for my 75 percent no low carb lifestyle is try to incorporate mostly healthy carbs, non complex carbs. Cut out the bread, the pasta, um, hard starches, and see how that go. It's all about lifestyle choices. All right, as y'all know, <laughs> gotta get my handy dandy thermometer out. You know, I guess I should push the. That ain't quite ready just yet. Yeah. Again, <coughs> man, I should have got me a cup of water or something. Uh, again, real simple recipe, some chicken, jerk season of your choice. I use Walker Woods, some heavy cream, salt and pepper, zucchini. Going to call it a day. After we finish searing off this chicken, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to do this in a one pot uh, because, <coughs> whoa, I don't like washing dishes. Well, I don't wash dishes. They don't like washing dishes. All right. Let me test this one more again. That needs to go a little bit longer. And again, so since we're going back to regular uh, uh, menus right now, um, give me some ideas, please, because I'm, I'm running out of stuff that's quick and simple um, or stuff that you guys are interested in. So please let us know. Inboxes, uh, I don't know what they call it on Instagram, but whatever that thing is, direct messaging, whatever, do that. Uh, if you're on the YouTube channel, because it should be streaming there as well, um, then by all means, leave a comment there. Or the quickest way is send me an email at askme at createsimplemeals.com. Askme at createsimplemeals.com. Please continue to follow us, like us, share us. Trust me, it is helping. I do see the numbers slowly increasing, and that's all because of you. So thank you. I'm getting people from places I know I don't know anybody in, in Oklahoma, Ohio. So I really thank you all for sharing and helping this page, this format grow. I also thank you for being patient with the glitches. Um, I was talking to some friends Saturday, and I was like, hey, man, you think I should just cut this until I get it? <coughs> get it uh <coughs> sorry about that perfected and it was like well you're kind of down the road now but the thing is i told y'all from the very first show we're gonna grow on this together y'all gonna see every mistake i do and hopefully you're gonna help me grow and for those of you that's aspiring to become our social media uh enter entertainers you can see some of the glitches i'm having and we can help each other out if you were or wondering about some of the equipment I'm using software again ain't no secrets I just don't plug them out on the show because they don't pay me but send me an email ask me a question I will respond to you I try to respond to all uh, post as they come in um, thankfully well not thankfully fortunately right now I ain't got too many so it's not too hard to answer all of them but as we grow, I still continue to will continue to try and uh, answer all of your comments um, as you put them in. It just may take longer as I grow. All right, so we're done with that. Now, typically, you would deglaze this, but I ain't gonna go through all that because all this juicy bitch you see in that pot. We're going to use that to make this meal a whole lot better. So to this, turn this down because I don't want this to scorch. We're going to add some heavy cream. And we're going to add a little sour cream. You know what? I did not bring out here. Put that over there. Um, don't worry about it. Give me, let me go grab a spoon real quick. Put the uh, recipe back on so y'all can see what we're cooking today. The uh, jerk chicken uh, pasta. I'm going to go grab me a spoon real quick and a cup because I'm tired of coughing.
Okay, I'm back. That, I hope it didn't it didn't break out and I forgot I walked away too far. But uh grab me a spoon. I'm gonna add some sour cream into this. Is that sounds to come through? Because I did walk away. I don't know if it's it. I'm add some sour cream for two reasons. A uh heavy cream is expensive, and B, it's just gonna give it a little bit layer more fat and flavor to it. I don't need this right now. Now, I'm I'm eyeballing this, but I'm also doing a smaller amount uh, than you'd probably do for your family. One of the reasons is because they had this last Wednesday, so I cooked it to test it out, and they don't want it no more. They, they like to have a different meal every night, so we ain't going to do this for them. This is for me. I think the wife is in there about to cook her a steak. Go figure that. All righty. Bring this up some. Again, if you're just now tuning in, real quick uh, meal of a jerk chicken pasta alfredo. Uh, simply some chicken that we season overnight with some jerk seasoning, a little bit of oil, salt, and pepper. Uh, for salt, because I don't think I put the, uh, you know, most recipes say salt and pepper to taste. My rule of thumb, even though I was saying no rules in cooking, my rule of thumb is that a half a teaspoon of salt for every pound of of, uh, of uh, protein that you're using. Fish is different, but most proteins, a half a teaspoon of salt, start there and adjust up. Um, salt, we seasoned that last night uh, just to get it marinated in. Then right now we've seared it off. We're cooked off the chicken. We made some zucchini noodles, and now we're making the Alfredo sauce. Uh, which I, I mean, why I put in quote, it is an Alfredo sauce. The only difference is it's not using uh, a, a thickener or a roux to thicken it up. We're just using the cream that's in here, the sour cream, the heavy cream. Um, you know what I want to do? I want to put a little butter in here. Just to give it a little butter. <laughs> That's probably a lot of butter. But I said low carb. I didn't ever say low calorie. Um, and based on my weight loss chart, I'm doing something right. Uh, and I also had my recent doctor's visit, so my cholesterol is in check. So we good to go on that. All right. I had a cup. Let me grab me a cup because I'm getting a little thirsty. Oh, also next week when I come back, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm making a, a. I made a hard cider. It's actually in the. Uh, Cause in addition to cooking and smoking uh, meat, I also make beer and hard cider. So next week, I'm gonna show y'all my hard. Uh, it's a strawberry lemonade hard cider that I will be sipping on next week, huh? Corey, Corey my cousin. What up, though, cousin? One of these meals gonna be my exit Alabama meal. I'm letting you know that right now. Uh, for those of y'all that don't be getting these inside comments I've been making to, to my friends and family, every year I go to Mardi Gras, I'm not missing it. You know, people are going to say I'm wrong, but my anniversary is February 21st. I'm flying out February 20th because I'm going to see my family every year. But every year, me and my cousin, we go out to eat, and I try to always, as a thank for their hospitality of letting me stay there, I try to always uh, cook a meal. Uh, not something he wants, something his wife wants. All right, as that's cooking there, and I can tell right now, even if he ain't posted yet, he gonna post some slick or say some slick shit because that's what he do. But you gonna like it, you gonna eat it. They they when you go down south, you know everybody got their way of cooking things. I'll be doing some. I take culinary chances, so I done made grits with chicken broth that I will never live down um, in Alabama. I can promise you that. I done made grits in a slow cooker. I got reamed on that, but hey. You need to try some things every now and again. Now, this xanthan gum, I mentioned on a few shows, for you low-carb enthusiasts, those of you that are doing the keto diet, xanthan gum is a thickener that you can use to uh, thicken up food, thicken up sauces in lieu of put in flour. So it has zero carbs in it. You can get it from Amazon. You typically use an eighth of a teaspoon per cup of liquid. Um, 
but I huh, just eyeball it. Now, with the xanthan gum, when you use it, you got to add it fast. And you got to th stir it even faster. If not, it will gum up on you. Normally, I use a hand mixer or immersion blender. Uh, but today, we're just going to go ahead and scramble this real fast. I don't know if, if the camera is picking up, but I can tell it's actually thickened up a little just that fast. Now, I'm going to bring this up a little bit more because I want to get that to a slow boil. And then I'm going to add this Parmesan cheese in there. And pretty much, folks, that's going to be it. Again, we're doing a jerk chicken pasta alfredo. This Walker Woods actually comes in mild, and I'm using the hot and spicy because it's only me eating. It comes in mild. Um, very good flavor. If you want to mess play around with jerk, but you're afraid of the uh, heat, use Walker Woods mild. Also, you can add some black bean paste. I've done it a few times, and it doesn't alter the flavor, but it definitely cuts down on the heat. You can also add some extra brown sugar into it as well. Okay, that's cool. That's boiling there. We'll add this cheese again we eyeballing it just grated parmesan cheese turn this down and as you see it's getting thicker as we stir now i'm gonna take my chicken pour it back in there get that out of my way You know, sometimes I'll be sitting here cooking, I'm looking at stuff, and I'm like, this stuff going on camera and on film, and I ain't the best at, at uh, taking pictures of food, but I see why these folks get paid, because some of this stuff, when you're looking at it on video, it don't look that appetizing. But trust me, this is an amazing, very quick meal. Uh, and with the exception of me cutting up the chicken last night and seasoning it, everything else you guys are watching the process, you'll see exactly how fast it goes. Again, uh, shout out to the self-employed tax company. Um, he is my personal tax professional, but I also recommend, I don't care what state you're in, he is an enrolled agent. He can do your taxes. Uh, he is virtual, so he can do your taxes via email, Skype, or if you're here in the Southern California area, you can pop into his office. I'll get his address and post on another video. Um, turn that off. Uh, post on another video. As of now, so we're done with that. Real quick, people. Now, you can put the zucchini in the pasta. I did that last week. I'm not going to do that this time because I actually want a uh, more crunch this week. Just because I need a little bit more texture. So we're going to take this. Please. Oh, when you're cutting up zucchini noodles, you saw me use the knife because these things will come out in one long ribbon and it just makes it very hard to eat so and for those of you used to me using the glove well this is my food i ain't cooking for nobody else but for me tonight so i don't need to use a uh, spoon oh there we go gonna take this on here rest of that's gonna be for my lunch tomorrow let me move this out the way Uh, all right and a man a shot all right and there we go real quick quick and simple folks as you see i'm not even sure how long this video went today but as you see it was very very quick very very fast it was cooking off some chicken breast that was been seasoned with some jerk seasoning some heavy take that out put you some heavy cream in bring it to a boil Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper. That's pretty much it. Doing it over zucchini noodles. If you aren't into the low carb, you could obviously put this over regular pasta. Um, you can put over potatoes if you want to, whatever you want to. But we're using zucchini noodles. This, again, is our last show for the low carb uh, month. We might run it back later on throughout the year, but this is it for this month. Next month, we're going to go back to regular cooking and probably sometime in March, May, 
I'm probably going to do a vegetarian month. So if you have any ideas, any recipes you want me to uh, try out, please inbox me on Facebook or do that whatever message thing is on Instagram, YouTube. Email me at askme at createsimplemeals.com. Please continue to follow. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share the videos. Trust me, it definitely worked. Uh, again, remember, there are absolutely only three rules that you should always follow when it comes to cooking. You must have a passion, you must have patience, and you must practice. Again, until we see you next week on Create Simple Meals, you guys have a good one. I was trying to make that go on there so I could see it didn't do it. I'll figure it out.